Hello students, uh, welcome to Dr. Shorab sir classes and this particular video will be solving the UPSC 2021 paper of maths optional. Okay. So as you know that we have already solved the four part, this uh, question of 4A and 4B in the previous video. So if you have not seen it yet, you can check the previous video. So this is uh, from paper 2 and this is the, this question is the uh, last part of uh, the question 4 okay so this is question 4 C what is saying that solve the following LPP uh, this linear programming problem using the big M method and maximize the Z is equal to 4x1 plus 5x2 plus 2x3 and um, subject to this equation 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 greater than or equal to 10 x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 less than or equal to 12 x1 plus x2 plus x3 equal to 6 and x1 comma x2 comma x3 is greater than or equal to 0 right so the objective function of the given LPP okay is of minimization type okay so now we can write the given LPP in the standard form that is maximize z okay this is gonna be 4x1 plus 5x2 plus 2x3 plus 0 of s1 plus 0 s2 minus m a1 minus m a2 okay subject to yeah. so subject to this equation the first equation will be this 2x1 plus x2 plus x3 minus s1 plus 0 of s2 plus a1 plus 0 a2 equal to 0 equal to it with 10 right the equation 2 is x1 plus 3x2 plus x3 plus 0 of s1 plus s2 so this will uh, be 0 a1 plus 0 a2 equal to 12 and this is x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus 0 of s1 plus 0 of s2 plus 0 of a1 plus a2 equal to 6 so here you can see that x1 x2 x3 s1 s2 a1 and a2 is greater than equal to 0 right so here s is the s1 actually so this can write this as s1 is the surplus variable okay so s2 is gonna be the slack variable and a1 a2 artificial variables right now the surplus variable s1 is not a basic variable since its value is minus 10 right as negative quantities are not feasible this since the negative quantities are not feasible then what to do with the s1 so this s1 must be prevented from appearing in the initial solution right so how to do this in the any in initial solution so how to do this this is done by taking s1 equal to 0 so by setting other non basic variables this x1 equal to x2 equal to x3 is equal to 0 
we obtain the IBFS as IBFS as so x1 equal to x2 equal to x3 equal to s1 equal to 0 right a1 equal to 10 a2 equal to 6 s2 is equal to 12 right now the initial simplex table is we have to solve it to the big M. So here we write is the okay. So we have to draw the table. So now it will look like let us take this as C B four five two. It's gonna be zero zero minus m minus m s1 s2 we have this so here is the cb the basis this is gonna be x1 x sorry this is x2 this is x3 right and as you know this is s1 and s2 and this is a1 and a2 right and here we have the b and the theta okay so first we have the basis the cb is minus m the basis is a1 okay then we have x1 equal to 2 1 1 minus 1 0 1 0 then b is gonna be 10 and this is 5 now when it is 0 then it is s2 this will be 1 3 1 0 1 0 0 right so it's 12 okay now when it is minus m again so this is a2 here we have 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 and 6 okay so now we have the Z okay so here we have this Z J is equal to summation of C B and A I J right so what it will be so we can write this as now from here we can write this that this one so it is the minus of 3 M minus 2m minus 2m okay this is m 0 minus m minus m and this is minus 16m okay so what is this cj cj is it is going to be 3m plus 4 okay then 2m plus 5 this is 2m plus 2 okay for this and here it is minus m 0 0 0 right so from the above table the variable x1 is entering the variable a1 is the outgoing variable right this is going to be the outgoing variable right so and omit column for this variable in the next simplex table and here the thing is that this 2 is the okay so this 2 is the key element and convert it into unity and all other all elements in its column to zero right then the new simplex table will be
So how what will be the new simplex table? So here we have the CJ four five two zero zero minus M and this is the CB basis. So we have X one, X two, X three, S one, S two, and this is gonna be A two, right? And we have the B and theta. So this is CB is four. This is is X one. One half half minus half zero comma zero. So this is five, and this is ten. Right. So here it is zero. So this is S two. So from here it is zero five by two. Half, half, one comma zero, and this is seven and two point eight, right? And the last will be minus four. This minus m, minus m stands to this a two. So it is going to be zero, half, half. It is also half, and zero comma one. So here we have one and two, right? So here with the same, that is we gonna be use the what is J of J that is summation C B A of I J. So here it is four A. This is two minus m by two. This is also two minus m by two. This is minus two minus m by two. This is zero. And we have minus m, and here we have twenty minus m, right? So now Cj, what will be the Cj over here? So that is three zero, three plus m by two, m by two. This is twice of m by two, zero, and c, right? So from this above table, you can see the x two is the entering variable, right? And a two is the Outgoing variable and x two entering variable, right? So what we do then omit this column in the next simplex table, and here this half is gonna the this uh, is the key element over here. Okay, and we have to make it unity and all other elements in its column equal to zero in this. Revised simplex table will be okay. So let's draw the revised simplex table. So this is CJ four five two zero zero. Okay. So we have write the CB the basis over here, and this is X one. X two, X three, S one, S two, and B. Okay, so here we have the four. So this is X one, one zero zero minus one zero. So B in this column it will be four. Again, if we put zero over there, so that is S two. Uh, so here it will be zero zero. Minus two, minus two, one. That is two. And five. That is x two. We have this zero. One, 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 zero. So that is two. Now from here, then z j will be summation of c b. A of I J, right? So here it will be can this. Here it will be four, five, five, one zero, with this twenty six. And what is this C J? C of J will be so this is uh, nothing but this zero, zero minus three and 
minus 1 you see right so from the above table you can say that all c of ij is less than equal to 0 right so there remains no artificial variable in this this a1 and a2 are not there so the solution is an so the solution is an optimal bfs okay, to the problem and is given by x1 equal to 4 x2 equal to 2 and x3 equal to 0 so max of z is equal to 26 right so this is a this is a solution to this our problem of 4c so as you see that we have to treat this simplex tables and we have to find the solution to this particular question of 4c so it's a quite explanative and this step by step process is required while answering your questions otherwise uh, the, the marks that will it will be deducted so if you solve in this manner you will get the maximum the full marks out of it so this uh, completes the question 4 so in the next video we will uh, see the question 5 and in the upcoming videos we will be solving this up to this question this paper to wholly so keep watching thank you